2,985 pounds, the cute little carpetless couples camping seven foot wide, easy tow and narrow body. <gasps> Jay Flight here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Coming back for another season here. You can see it has a beautifully revised exterior just at a glance compared to the previous generation. The interior also similarly facelifted, but it's not just all looks here. It's not brand new looks, same great taste. There are some important systems upgrades that have gone into this, things that are like daily use and function features that we're going to hit on that I think you are really going to enjoy. Consistency is going to be a recurring theme throughout this video because this is the smallest, most basic J flight that they uh, offer, the SLX 7 foot wide series, but it has so much in common with the Big Brothers. Usually the small series is scaled down quite a bit for most brands, and that's really not the trend here. They try to make everything very appropriate for a small camper segment, but not feel like you're getting uh, you know, reduced features as a result. So standard, this has a 8,000 BTU side mount air. It's been generally found to be more than sufficient for a small space like this. And you see how you have great cross breeze windows here. That right there is a fire escape style window. The front window is for viewing only, but you see that you can have an opposing breeze window over here on this side. You may also notice that you have a privacy curtain right there to close off the front bed. So should you choose to fold down the dinette, into a little bit of a guest sleeper, or if you just prefer that kind of visual break point, you feel like that you, you want to have more of an enclosed bedroom as opposed to an open concept like this at night, well, you can just pull the curtain and there you go. All the lighting is uh, LED. The main cabin lighting, anything on this side of the curtain is on one switch. You have separate lights over there for the bedroom and you can still control all the lights individually, which is pretty darn nice. They have recently also improved the bedding in this from the uh, previous generation to a nice Serta bed. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not like, you know, a, uh, a luxury Serta series, but it is a lot better than the blue wafer of back-breaking death that you normally get in most of these little campers. Also, you have very wide open side stands below those two wardrobe closets. So if you, uh, you know, are a CPAP user, just want a place to set down your phone, you got a perfect little place for it right there. And it might look a little funny, but it works like a fox. Um, if you use the jack leg crank, as a quick little prop support to get to the underbed storage once you reach your destination. it's It costs you nothing, and frankly guys, it works very well. Just a handy little tip from your Uncle Josh right there. Flipping ourselves around the other way, you see one of the other significant updates on here is the improvement to the entertainment system. Previously this had a little AM, FM, sometimes Bluetooth stereo. It looked kind of like a car stereo. And what you have here now is the same thing as the 8 foot wide SLXs. It's still Bluetooth stereo, but it has HDMI plugs on it so that if you do want to like expand your entertainment to plug in something that's high def or like a Roku stick or something like that, you've got the perfect place for those things. That campsite window right there is always a fan favorite feature. And all the windows in this have pulled down night shades, by the way, not uh, metal mini blinds. Now over here, uh, just below the window, you've got your dining area, and you might notice how this is a completely carpetless, ventless flooring camper. It actually does not have central heat, doesn't need it. It's small enough that the heater that blows into this thing will more than power through the uh, small space of the RV. There's storage below the dinette. It can fold down into a little sleeper. And over here, you're actually above the wheel well right now, but you see there are that, uh, there's a set of household outlets right there, which is really, really handy. You also notice how this table brackets to the wall, which helps keep it a lot sturdier. Um, the uh, huge closet by the door has long been one of the very best features in this floor plan ever since its inception, because it gives you a huge chunk of storage space. And that shelf right there, it kind of creates a very obvious shoe garage down below, but anytime you have another shelf, you have another layer where you can store things. And that thing right there, frankly, is it's as, I think it's bigger than the actual shower. Another thing to note here, even here at their most basic level, you can see this is not just stapled together. This is mortise and tenon together and uh, hardwood cabinet doors. And these are pocket screwed cabinet styles. If you don't know what that means, take your fingers, reach around back here, and you'll feel where this is screwed together, not stapled together. Even their most basic travel trailer at all of Jayco RV has the exact same uh, cabinet style construction as like uh, a, a Jayco North Point full-time luxury uh, warranted type uh, RV. 
Now the shelves in that pantry right there are removable, so if you want, you can peel those out to kind of customize your storage. And that right there is an access panel. I believe your water heater is down there for winterizing. So you've got, again, good dedicated kitchen storage. You've already seen good closet storage. The door is in the back away from the bed, which is in the front. These are all things that I hear people seeking with frequency in RVs, and you find them all here at this basic little camper. Um, you've got your TV hookups against the wall right there uh, between the master kind of like uh, this is your tank monitor and that is just a set of household outlets that's easy to reach in the kitchen. But remember this being a wood studded travel trailer. Every 16 inches on center there's a wall stud so you could mount a TV pretty much anywhere over here you want. You will also find sealed edge countertops in these little guys now which is something that historically they did not always have. That is a gas and electric fridge freezer. The freezer pocket is that kind of drawer at the top right there. And there's also a handy little spot for a wastebasket there with your furnace and your converter panel next to it. If you don't know what a converter panel is, basically it's kind of like saying fuse box for your camper. From here, we're just a hop, skip, and jump away to zooming out to the, uh, well, back to the bathroom as it were. Neat little note on that bathroom, it actually has a locking door. And as dumb as that sounds, that's something that a lot of basic travel trailers often do not have. Additionally, um, the stovetop does vent outside, but this has an extra skylight here that is also a crank open vent if you want some extra airflow and uh, capacity. Now, as we come back here into the full dry bath, you see you have a separate shower and toilet with a big skylight up there. And that mirror helps the room feel a little bit more alive, not look and feel so dead. It is obviously, admittedly, very simple, very basic in here. But chances are, you didn't get yourself a simple, basic 19-foot camper so that you could sit in the bathroom and read an entire novel. You're probably in here to do a job and then to go back to camping. Am I right? And what is awesome is the consistency of this product in conjunction or, or maybe in comparison with the, uh, the wide body, or not wide body, but 8-foot wide J Flights and the fact that it still maintains Jayco's industry-leading 2 plus 3 warranty, two full years of coverage, and a three-year structural rider on there for maximum peace of mind. There is no one, no one at all remotely close to this class and category providing similar assurances to their customers. Um, this is a seven foot wide camper, which means it's really not any wider than the tow vehicle that typically will handle it. So it's less intimidating, it's less bulky, it's less headwind, it's easier to see around. I do always, always recommend side uh, towing mirrors though on your vehicle. Just don't skimp on safety items, please. You may also notice that our windows are still tinted. Again, that's a thing that you don't always find in a small camper class and category like this. It helps keep the heat down in the RV. And although they have gone to that beautiful platinum exterior, it does still have a stark white roof to keep the uh, heat in check. You can build this with an optional roof air, but it has a 8,000 BTU side mount air, which has been found sufficient even in hot climates, uh, you know, in this little box. I've always kind of been afraid that too big of an air and too small of a unit like this may actually cause the compressor to cycle too often and may actually damage it. Now, I mentioned that there are some things that you can't readily see that were updated that I think are really important, and one of them is right there. It's that water heater. Previously, the seven foot wide J Flight SLX series had a non auto ignition gas only water heater. When they went to this platinum skin generation, the J Flight brand manager said, I'm tired of having too many different water heaters. It's too confusing for everybody. All J Flights now have a six gallon gas and electric auto ignition fast recharge water heater. All of them. So uh, you get more hot water per hour, it's easier, you don't have to go light the thing manually, every ounce of it is better. This still has a fully walkable roof, of course, like all Jayco's, Jayco does not make a travel trailer lacking that feature. Um, spare tire, hopefully you never need it, but God forbid you do, you're gonna be good. And in addition to having all LED tail and marker lighting, this RV also has reverse travel lighting. So if you have a spotter and you need to see where you're going when you're backing into your campsite, you have plenty of light to do so in those early morning and late evening hours. Now I talk about and I show power awnings on a lot of the RVs we have here at Halet RV, but I think it's more important that I talk about it and show it in this little class. Now we don't personally offer a single axle little mini camper here at Halet RV that does not have a power awning. That's just something that happens to be true with all of our inventory, but there are a lot of small, inexpensive trailers out there that uh, look 
like a power awning, but they are a manual crank out awning. And that doesn't mean that they're bad. I just want you to understand the difference so that you know what you're getting for your money because you work hard for that money. And that's the whole reason I put these videos together, help you understand. And if you appreciate that, all I ask is you give us the opportunity to work with you here at Halid RV. Now, just like the Big Brother J Flights, you have power awning with LED lighting and speaker arms so that the speakers are pointing down toward your campsite and not blowing away the neighbors. Also, you can see this is an easy tilt awning. So if you want a little bit of a uh, crank on that so that you can get some rainy day runoff, it is just that simple. And it's self-correcting, so it will uh, roll itself back up flat and come back out flat when you are ready for it the next time. Now, as I said, we do have LED lighting under the base of this. And again, all of our windows open for airflow. That's the kind of little different stuff that you just can't uh, take for granted on all these little trailers. Even here at their smallest, least expensive, most basic level, you see the Jayco's still ride on best in class Goodyear Endurance radials. These are rated for 87 miles per hour at only 80 PSI. What that means in English, well actually these are for a max load of 60 PSI, their big tires are 80 PSI. It, it's written right on the tire, you get the idea. The point is, better quality, American made, more peace of mind here. Now, no matter how good of a tire you have, it is still possible to like catch debris, a screw, something like that, which is why it's nice that these have a galvanized steel wheel well, because your dinette is directly above that if you recall. You remember that little bump under the dining table you may have noticed? If this radial tire gives up the ghost and starts smashing into the bottom of that, you're going to be really happy that you have that little metal shield right there uh, protecting you. And it's little differences like that that help Jayco support their best in class 2 plus 3 warranty. There is nobody else remotely similar to this size or category doing that for us. Also, large, big pass-through baggage door here. Usually little campers have little storage access, but you see that is not the case here. And as we talked about inside, you've got a big storage pocket inside. Now it's wide open here, but if you wanted to, you could very easily put a partition there. Jayco kind of gives you that choice. They'll let you sort of Build it, work it how you want. And then little things here, like there's that little wheel for the tongue jack up front. This trailer's small enough, and especially with just the side mount air unit, it's short enough to fit into a lot of garages. Um, the uh, Kind of the benefit of that tongue jack with that wheel on there is that you can easily hand park it inside your garage or a barn. You don't have to be an ace backing it up with a truck like a friendly neighborhood Jayco delivery driver here is. Now you see that awning closing, you see a truck still hooked up to it. We proactively inspect every single new RV that arrives here at Halet RV to ensure that we have a quality product going out the door. If it needs something, we take care of it on the spot. And uh, you know, we, we always want you to be happy. We don't want you to miss camping time because the trailer just wasn't prepared or anything like that. So if you appreciate the efforts that we're putting in, if you uh, appreciate the links we've gone to before we've even met you, then all I ask is you give our team the opportunity to work with you. And remember, you can give us a call because we do it all except for hidden dealer fees at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.